Hi everyone, this is Tanya here with Memory Lane Keepsakes and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for taking our time to join me today. I am here to share a BB craft project with you guys and I want to walk you through what products I'm going to be using. This would be my last project for BB craft and this would be the dominoes and they would be done out of resin. So this is my first resin project. So I have really dived on in to show you guys something new and different here on my channel to me. And so I'm really excited because I have invested a lot in the resin and some of the different products that I have already in my stash. And I wanna share with you what things I plan on using to create these dominoes. But before I go on, I wanna welcome each and every single one of you, especially if you are new to my channel. I will hope that you guys enjoy the content here on my channel. I hope to choose to stick around by subscribing later on. And also, if you are returning, as always, I am so thankful and I really appreciate your loyal support here on my channel. And today I do want to feature BB Craft. So let me go ahead and share with you the Domino's um, molds that I will be using. So these are the Domino's molds that I will be using. This is one of them here and this is the other one. Um, they normally come in two parts and it was a kit that I received and I did share that in my unboxing. So feel free to definitely go back and check out that video if you have missed it. I have created a playlist for you guys so that way you can see all of my BB craft videos and that way you don't you can understand also how to be affiliated with BB craft if you would love to do some of these project shares for the company and I also explained that in that video as well so here is the resin molds that I will be using these are a set of dominoes and I'm really excited about this and it's a really decent size for one and they also had a lot of other things in the kit that I go over. I also pulled two of the stirrers out that I will be also using um, to mix up my um, different colors that I'm going to be doing for the resin there. And then they also, I will be using this from the kit as well, which is a silicone measuring cup. And I also decided to pull out the foil and this is the coming these little um capsules here and this one right here is the silver color so I do plan on using this in my resin to see how that turns out and I can let you guys know when I complete the project so I'm really excited about that and again this is my first attempt at trying resin I've already pulled some different cups that are disposable out so that way I can go ahead and mix up the amount that I'm going to need and so I have also um, chose some different glitters um, now these right here were already in my stash. This one right here is Sugar Plum, which is by Martha Stewart. Um, love this glitter color here. And I've also pulled out some of my different uh, mica powders. This one right here is Heather. Beautiful color. And this is by Glitter Chimp. And so those are some of the different ones that I have pulled. I've pulled some other ones out, but I want to play around with some of those um, and just kind of see how this all comes out. And I'll be back hopefully to show you guys more and of course my finished project. I've also pulled out my gloves for safety and of course you uh, will need to wear a mask um, to protect your face from the different fumes from the resin. Now the resin that I will be using uh, will be this resin right here and this was already in my stash as well. I've already shared this before on a previous video. But this here is the epoxy resin store. This is where this comes from. This is resin part A. And so to do this, you will mix um, an equal mix of one by one ratio um, to definitely um, get the resin to mix properly. And here is resin part B. So these are the two different parts that I will be using here. Really big jugs there. And so again, I'm really excited. And I am ready to go ahead and get started with mixing everything. And I'll be right back. I am back to go ahead and share with you guys the resin. I'm going to be pouring that into the cup and mixing and everything. And I may sound a little funny because I have my protective gloves on as well as my mask. Um, so I hope you guys can hear me okay. This is the silicone cup I'm going to be using. This is 100 milliliter and I'm going to fill this up twice once with part A, resin part, and then hardener part B. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up. I've already taken, broken the seal. This is my first time using this resin. 
so I hope it turns out really really great so we're gonna go ahead and pour this on in there now Great thing about using the silicone cups is the fact that you can go ahead and take any resin that dries up out very easily. And so that way your silicone cup can be used over and over again. So that's one of the things that's really great right there. Okay, go ahead and wipe the access off there. That's why I have my paper towel on hand for any spillage. And I also have protected my surface as well. Now, I have that already done. So now I'm going to go ahead and pour that into my main cup. So this is part A that's going into the cup. You want to make sure you get all of that in there. And I did um you also want to have some popsicle sticks on hand as well. And I do have a few. So I'm going to go ahead and pour those now as well. That way I can scrape the remaining parts of the resin out as needed. see me just scraping this out here and now I'm going to go ahead as soon as I get all of part A out of here I'm going to go ahead and add part B but I want to make sure I get as much as part A out of this silicone cup I'm just going to stick that on in there for now all right, so now let's go ahead and open up part B, which is the hardener. And it's only gonna take three to five minutes uh, for me to stir to get all of this to react, to get to the consistency that I need it. it. Will help if I pour it in the right place. And this comes out really fast. All right, let me grab some more paper towel here. I don't want that to get on my mat. Move this here. There we go. All I'm doing is changing up the surface at this point. And I also have some more protection. So I also um, have some wax paper as well if you have any spillage so I'm just wiping this away um, quickly so that it don't mess up my mat here even though it's a protective mat and so now I'm going to go ahead and mix that on in there and bring this on back and this is the hardener so I'm going to add the equal parts to it I want to just scrape all that extra out of there.
Okay, now I want to go ahead and start mixing this. Until it's clear. So this is what it's looking like right now. And I'll be back to share with you guys what it looked like when I get ready to put the powders and also the glitter. I've already mixed my part A and part B in this cup right here. And I have been stirring um, about three to five minutes is what you want to do. And now that I've done that, I have two additional cups that I'm going to be using that are disposable. That I can separate my resin in so I can mix my colors and use my powder. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to do two equal parts. This is going to be the first part here. And this will be the next part. I'm going to go ahead and just keep pour this in here. Alright, so that should be good right there. So I got a good amount out of there. And now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and grab my powders that I'm going to be using in my glitters. So I have decided to go ahead and use this um, Heather, which is the mica powder. So I'm going to be using that as well as my iridescent glitter by Martha Stewart. This one is called Sugar Plum. Um, I'm going to use that in one together. And then I'm also going to be using some um, silver foiling that came from BB Craft. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So I'm going to use one of my stirs to dip a little bit of this out. I'm going to use the end tip of this to mix my resin. And it is a beautiful color, guys. Look how gorgeous and vibrant that is really nice so we're going to use that put that down here and i'm going to dip some of this out do it with this end do a little bit more I'm going to mix that and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to add the glitter in. Alright. Clean that on off a little bit there. And you can always go back and add more. For right now, I'm going to go ahead and just close this on up. And we're going to give this a good stir. You can see what it looks like right here. So I'm using the stirs from the company. It's going to be this beautiful sugar plum color. Especially once I add that glitter in there as well. It's already pretty. I you know how it's looking now. I really, really like the way that looks. Really nice. I'm 
want to make sure I get scrape the sides here you can see how that's coming together look how pretty that is really nice give that a good stir and I want to go in now and I want to add some of this beautiful glitter that I have here and see what how it changes it up a little bit here I think that's good right there You can see the glitter sitting on top of it now. I'm going to give that a good stir and mix that on in. That is just so pretty. Oh, I like the way that looks. I think I want to add a little bit more though. So let's go ahead and get do that. Put a little bit more of that in there. Okay. And got that closed. Added a little bit more glitter. You can add as much as you like as much as you prefer there and I want it more inside of mine so that's what I did oh now I can see that sparkle real nice it's coming together now yes that's what I wanted right there look how beautiful really really nice Okay, that's mitts pretty good there. So now what I want to do is go ahead and I want to add a little bit of, I think I'm going to switch this one up and add a little bit of glitter to this one, but I also want to add some of the um, foiling to that. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So we're going to put a little bit of this in there. We're going to mix. And then we're going to go back and add. Oh, that's pretty. And we're going to go back and add some of those silver foils from BB Craft. This is what it looks like if you just did the glitter. And that is the sugar plum that I use. But I also want to add some of that silver in there. So we're going to go ahead and do that as well. All right, so I'm going to lay this on down. Let's go ahead and get some of these out. I'm going to have to break some of these up. So to do this, I am going to have to take off my gloves for now. And I'm going to come back and I'll show you guys what that looks like. So I'm back to share with you what the silver foiling looks like. So it's now in the cup here. I was able to break it up. So I'm going to give that a nice little stir right here. And that's going to be worked into my resin. And I think that's good right there. And any pieces you see on the side you can push down into your resin so I've given that a good stir right there 
So now I'm going to come back over here and stir this up a little bit more. And now I'm about to go ahead and start adding this to my resin mold. Now for me to do that, I'm going to go ahead and place my resin mold over here to the side. And I'm going to put that on down. Slide everything out of the way here. And I'm going to do them together so that way you guys will be able to see everything. I'm going to move all this out of the way here. Now I've already prepared a pan with my wax paper on it for protection to protect my surface of any spillage. And you also have those paper towels and different things on hand as well. So I've already got my molds right here. I'm going to go ahead and start with this one first. And I want to kind of do it in a motion to where it's going to run, but I'm also going to be able to use it to where I can do both of them together if needed. So let's start from here. And do this one too together. So you just kind of go in the motion that you want your dominoes to look and you just kind of keep going from there. These dominoes are going to be gorgeous. And if I did everything right, they'll come out right. Okay, and I also want to make sure I filled up some of these a little bit more. So I'm going to still go ahead and add a little bit more to these on the end here. So. This one needs a little bit more. So it's okay to go back and fill it up if you need to. I'm gonna move this mode out of the way for now so that way I can get an even amount going and I'll come back and add the other one if I need to because I'm gonna have to probably make some more because I'm looking a little low. And that's okay too because it's my first time. Okay, so now what I want to do is go ahead and shift this one up a little bit and add in my second mold here because I still have some left in here. So I'm going to go ahead and move this here, slide this over. Hi everyone, so I am back to show you my finished resin dominoes. Um, so I let them sit overnight and they have already cured and I want to go ahead and take them out of the mold. So I want to just show you that process quickly. Um, but before I do, I want to lift these up and show you how beautiful my first 
resin project has turned out and I'm so happy guys I love the colors that I chose and I, this process was easier than I thought it would be and I'm just really really pleased with this and this is the best part of doing any type of resin project is the demoting project part of it and I'm gonna go ahead and take them out the mold now and I will be sanding them off camera and then I will um, show you guys the finished look of this project thanks and compliments of BB Craft for allowing me to be able to do this awesome project share with you guys by being able to get the dominoes kit from them and these molds are very easy to work with as you can see I'm just taking them out right now and they just pop them right on out and very easy to do you just pop them right back in place so I'm really excited about doing some more for sure This was very easy to use, and I hope you guys were inspired by my first resin project. And let me know in the comments what you guys definitely think. And I will be back to share with you the finished look of my dominoes. But so far, this is what they are looking like. As you can see, it didn't leave any residue whatsoever inside of this mold. Really decent size and easy to use. And I still have this one right here to demold. But this is what the dominoes look like so far. Look how beautiful. And this one is sits. And I got to go back and add, I got to sand it and add the paint to it. Um, so that way the numbers will show up a whole lot better. This one right here is seven. Really, really nice. Look how beautiful. I love that sparkle. And you can also see how that beautiful silver foiling has showed up in the um, little parts of glitter that I've added in the top of that love the way that look that's the back of it that's the front really really nice and so this is what we have so far this is what it's looking like so you guys can see that and so I will be back to show more so stay tuned Hi everyone, this is Tanya here with Memory Lane Keepsakes and welcome back. I am here to share my final project with you guys. Now I showed a little bit of my process on how I created these dominoes using the domino mold and kit that I received from BB Craft. Now all the products will be listed in the description box along with a coupon code so you can use Memory5 to save $5 on any purchase over $40. And so that's a thank you for you guys, you know, supporting me as well as heading over to BB Craft to show them some crafty love as well by shopping with them. And I first want to start off by thanking BB Craft so much for giving me the opportunity to do a pro product review for you guys. I want to thank you for that. I have had so much fun creating with all the wonderful goodness I was able to choose from your website. And I hope you guys were inspired to create as well as well as shop over there with them. So I'm now here today to share my completed project with you all. And so what I used was this Glitter Chimp Heather, which is a mica powder. I used this to tint my resin. I also pulled out my glitter. This is Sugar Plum. And then to use for my resin, I pulled out some resin I already had in my stash, which is the um, Premium Quality Clear Epoxy Resin. This is part B, and then we also have part A right here. So you have to mix these two equal parts to get the consistency that you need to be able to have a great um, outcome. And so with that being said, to finish up my dominoes, I have used the metallic silver paint is what I wanted to use. I wanted to use gems, and I had to locate some gems that would fit. I tried different sizes that I had in my stash, and they were too small. So we're going to revisit that at the later date with some other dominoes. But for now, I went ahead and used paint, and this is the color that I wanted to use. So I could stay within the color family that I was going for. And so here is my finished project, guys. I'm so excited for my first resin project. It came out so awesome. And so this is it right here. I'm going to zoom on in so you guys can see this a little bit better. So this is my project and this is what it looks like. 
so I'm really happy about that look how fabulous so I'm really happy with the outcome and this is them right here so you can see how beautiful those are I love it came out so nice you can see that shine with the different color choices that I use look how awesome and you can see how awesome the foiling looks in there as well as how I did the silver now I know for a real game of dominoes you wouldn't also have this where you can visibly see it because you have to lay the dominoes down because that would be considered cheating and we don't want to do that but for my first project this is the look I was going for so these would be more for decor but I will make more later on and I'm really excited that I had a chance to show you guys my first resin project and so this is really, really phenomenal. And it was so much fun to be able to pull out something new that I've never done before. So I encourage you to try those new items and just play with them. Only thing is you could just start over if you don't have a great outcome the first time. But the thing about it, you never know until you try. And that's what it's all about, having fun. And so I'm really, really happy with how these dominoes turned out. And this is the back of it here. Isn't that awesome? So I love this. So I'm really, really happy and excited about this project. And I was glad I was able to share with you guys. So that's all my dominoes. And in this set, you get a total of 28. And so that's how many dominoes is in a game. And so that's um, what the mold consists of for you to do it. But make sure you check out the description box. That way you can support BB Craft and just see what items will help you be able to craft alone to create some of that wonderful crafty goodness. I want to thank you guys so much for checking me out today. If you have not already subscribed, I hope you choose to do so. If you have not already clicked the bell, I hope you do that as well so you'll know when I release new videos. The ground page, which is Memory Lane Keepsakes 2017. And also, I love to read your comments. Don't forget to leave some down below. Have a wonderful day and be blessed. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.